good dope gang it's your boy dope wings back in the sink so today man i'm gonna go in and show y'all how to plastic dip y'all grills now um when i did it before i didn't record because i wasn't thinking i was gonna make a video but i'm gonna basically show y'all step by step how to do it and what to cover up and what to look for when you plastic dip your grill now mine's turned out good but what i'm gonna you know how i like to do in my pimp my rise episode so starting off you know what i mean i'm gonna let y'all know Y'all gonna see some pictures, some videos, some Instagram, Snapchat. Then after that, y'all might have like a little music going down on it. Y'all gonna have a couple videos showing y'all what it looked like. And then after all them videos done, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna show y'all how to actually do it, mask it all. And then um, I'll let y'all see my car. I mean, y'all gonna see it while I'm showing y'all how to mask it off. But let's go and hop into the video, man. Don't forget to leave a like while you're watching the video right now. Don't even, don't even wait to end the video. Just go ahead and leave a like right now because you, you know. You like that, but go ahead and leave a like. Let's go ahead and get this video started with, man. Oh, hold up. Let me show y'all something, man. Damn. Woo. That's right. Oh, yeah. That bitch got a way meaner look now. I'm loving it. Hey, man. Yeah, yeah. I want to get y'all cars dipped, man. Just, just hit me up. Got you. Usual about me. Uh, Clear as the vision is fixed the mission. I am not kidding, but I did the impossible. Drive me to add it. That's where I'm a hit. I got so to start off, as you already seen, my grill is dipped. But the main thing you want to do is well for mainly for charges. I don't know how um other cars are made, but you what you want to do is to oh shit. And come down here and pop your hood. Alright. So after your hood is popped, you wanna Go ahead. Let me see. I can just sit this right here for y'all and just let you I can go and give y'all a tutorial while I sit right here. All right, bam, there you go. That's a perfect ass view. So, what you want to do, you want to unlock it, right? And don't mind my shorts, I don't need y'all to pin because, yeah. So, you unlock the car and open, right? Now, this is the part where I want y'all to see. You have your engine open and you're like, well, why are you opening your trunk for? You just want to spray paint your grill. Key thing, well, in chargers, you have this little thing right here, right? It's like a little cover. They easily come off. You just basically pick them up. Let me see. Pick them up, they come off. And you probably ask me, why am I taking this off? Hey, by the way, remember which way they go. Because when you put them back in, you need to know which one goes in the bottom, which one goes on top. So that one went on bottom, this one went on top, like that. Basically, what you're covering up is... I think what is this to call the the uh this is not the radiator i forgot what the fuck this is called but you see as y'all can see it is something down there hold on give me one second can see better y'all can see that much pretty much this is i wanted to focus this is what you want to cover up this is like your fan and the engine this is like well this is where everything goes all right if you have paint sitting all inside of here it's a good chance you might start a fire because don't forget plush dip is you know um flammable so this is what you want to cover up when you first start. This is like where you see the grill is right here. So you can see the back side, but you don't really see too much paint right there. Um, as you did see, I did a good job covering up. What you want to cover this up with is trash bags. So for example, okay, this, this is a dirty cloth, but don't mind. You basically get a trash bag, you cut it up, right? After you cut it up, you just slide them down here and make sure you cover all your rotors. You might have to even go like in be like you know in between the cracks and spread it out and hey, don't mind the white stuff that's like um salt don't you have to spread it out though because you want it all over your road you want you want it all over top of this you do not want to get no spray in here that's the number one key try not to get no spray in here so after you cover this up right you're fine you can pretty much close the engine but i'm not gonna close it right now because i want to show you another thing after you're done closing it and the way plastic dip works, it will break off like right between this little line. As you see, you can tell like it's a perfect cut between it. So when you start spraying, make sure you mask off at least from like just give it some. Like, you can spray now. What I would say since the emblem right here cuts like put a tape, mask it over here, and have it go all the way down here. So basically, what I'm saying, let me grab this for you. Basically, what I'm saying is have your tape go like this all the way around. Tape right here um tape down a little bit like right here so you have room and right there um now what i had issues with was overspray i had extra spray coming over here and over here down here on the top i had a lot of overspray on the top of the hood and that's mainly one thing i want y'all 
if y'all gonna do it, I recommend y'all mask just tape off the whole hood, tape off the front side, or just what I use the paper towels. Just save less time. If you literally wet your hood, paper, put the paper towel down, it will stick. So what I recommend is y'all just get a paper towel, wet the hood, and then place the paper towel over the wet spots. And then your paper towel sticks so you don't need tape for the top of the hood. Um, or you, if you have some other masking type of tools you can use, use that too. But okay, so after that's taped off, you're going to have to spray this part too. When I mean this, it will come off. As you see, my stuff has come off. So you will spray this whole entire part. You will get this. Mainly when you're doing this because you want to make sure you get them a good outside of this. So when you're spraying the outside of like this part and you're going all the way around, make sure you spray like good coats, good thick coats, like at least, at least three layers of four. I did my grills probably four or five layers on it. So that pretty much lasts. So the only problem I had with is you probably can see that little bit of silver right there. It's just a little bit. I peeled a little bit off, but it's as bad as you know it's Like you come back here, you you can you won't even notice it. it. Still look like like I did a good job. So make sure you you spray all the way over here. Like you can still see a little bit of paint more over here. If I ever get the time to, I probably will fix it, but not at the moment. So after you spray that, it peels off easily. You can tell how. Let me get a little bit closer for y'all. You can clearly tell how the line, it goes inside of the, you know, like where the cut breaks off. So that's what I'm saying, spray right there, you just easily peel it off. Now, if you do have any extra overspray, what you wanna do is get some WD-40, which I definitely recommend, because I used it. Get WD-40, spray it on your car. Like say, for example, this was a spot right here, right? Spray WD-40 on it, let it sit for like 30 to a minute, then you come back, get a cloth. Matter of fact, like, well, I don't even know what that is, the cloth I had. Uh, damn, bro. What up? I ain't dropping in there, dog. <laughs> bro, I really just lost that cloth. Uh, okay, well, that's one cloth, that cloth, that's all. Anyways, I'm, I really hope I didn't drop in here somewhere. Like, that if I did, that's definitely going to be a problem. All right, well anyways, you grab the cloth, you wipe it off, and it comes off easy. So, hey, remind if you do have any overspray, don't panic, you can get it off. Just use a simple WD-40 with a cloth, you can get it off. So, after that's done, your grill pretty much comes out good. Now, what I do recommend is just let it sit. Uh, a lot of people say two, two hours or something like that. I let mine sit overnight, just because I wanted it to fully heal. I also use this top gloss, gloss chart which I will show you on the second after like I wrap this this you know part up. I did do a top gloss gloss chart. Like I said chart. Top gloss coat. And that probably gave that's why you see it's like a little bit shiny. It's not like the regular plastic dip. So remember, try to at least do four coats minimum. You can do more. I did more because I wanted mine to stay on here for like a longer time. So try to do more if you can. Four coats minimum. Not that hard to do. It probably took me like well, like I said, I did a couple coats, so it took me about five to, no, no, not five hours. It took me about two to three hours. Um, another thing, what I wanted to tell y'all, I want to tell y'all one more thing before I wrap this little piece up. Ooh, what was it, what was it, what was it, what was it? Oh, preparation, okay. But before you start, make sure you just clean it. I mean, you ain't got to clean it, but, I mean, people are just telling me to get you a better look or something like that. So just make sure you clean it. Make sure it's completely dry before you start, because if it's not dry, you will have air bubbles. I got lucky enough not to have any air bubbles in mine, so make sure you dry it completely. Let it rest, and make sure you cover up this back piece. This does come off, so make sure you cover it up. That's key word, make sure you cover it up. Rather than that, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to paint that I use. I've been feeling crazy and tripping. I gotta get out the S pill. Bad bitch with me came through dripping. Don't give a damn my S pill. We don't believe him cause he cap. I've been thinking about lean, I might relapse. Made a movie last night, need to recap. She came in on her feet, on her knees now. I just been taking it slow and my mama won't move, so I bought her a new crib. Niggas be hating on me cause I'm popping, but fuck it, I got me a now that I can finally show y'all the paint and the tape and this material that I use. This is like the tape I use. I didn't get nothing too like expensive because you know y'all used to that blue tape that y'all see. I just got this for a little easy tape. Um, this was the plastic that I was talking about. You can find this at like any pretty much any store, but I pretty much go to Walmart for mine. It's like five dollars and a couple cents, five eighty two action. This is the gloss coat I was talking about. Now I'm running out. I don't have a lot left, but 
As y'all see, I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all get a better looking at it. This is not plastic dead, but it's something else, and I feel like that gives it a much better look. And then this is the WD-40. I like to say you can get this anywhere. Walmart, Target, Dollar Store. You can find WD-40 anywhere. Just these pretty much together, probably $15 max, including this. $15 max, but I do recommend getting two cans of plastic baby you know even though it probably only took me like one can to actually give me them good coaches it get two cans to be safe um I also would recommend getting a um microfiber towel just in case you need it when you wipe off the paint like the overspray but go ahead and leave a like subscribe on the video and I will catch y'all in the next one peace I ain't no bad, but I'm tripping. Niggas ain't catch me slipping. Hey, yeah. I make you laugh when you with me know that my swag